A former secretary to the government of the Federation, Baba Chelawa, has said nobody in the All Progressive Congress has the right to prevent the party's national leader, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, from contesting the 2023 presidency. Lawa, in an interview with Sunday Punch, also canvassed power shifts to the south, particularly the southwest. He expressed dismay as some notable, notable southerners desiring presidency to be retained in their region. He accused some APC governors of fueling the crisis in the party so they could take control for their own selfish political purposes. He said the overall goal of the politicians was to undo the current structure under the President Buhari. He said it was laughable if the objective of the politicians who alleged to have masterminded the removal of the former party chairman, Adams Ushumole, was to oppose the alleged Tinubu's presidential aspirations. Lawa said, those who wanted Adams Ushumole out are more desperate because of 2023 presidential race because as a national chairman of a party, from our own observation, there's very little he could do to favor or impose a presidential candidate in his party, except we want to bring the wrath of God on our heads because of his role in building the party, he, equity and a sense of justice demand that he be given a chance in a free and fair, just, fair system and let his luck prevail. Nobody with a clear conscience in the party will deny Tinumbu the opportunity to contest the presidency. Nobody within the party has the moral right to even put a stumbling block on his path. The party must create an environment that is free and fair for anybody who wants to contest, including Bola Tinumbu. The, let the delegates who have emerged through a similarly free and fair process decide who they want to vote for. Lawa also urged Buhari to support power rotation to the south to enable the emergence of his successor from the region. A just and equitable way of doing things is to agree as gentlemen that since the North has had its president for the second tenor, the opportunity should be given to the South to produce the next president, he said. Lawa added that the Northern regions hold onto power had been an abatros. He said, by the way, what did we get from several years of governance with the presidency from the North? Since the demise of General Sani Abacha, the country has been into crisis of insecurity and poor economy. Along the line, we have also had vice presidents who were northerners. We have had presidents who were northerners. But for whatever reason, the system is not improving. Presidency from the north is like an abatros around our neck. You can imagine. These people, they know the truth. They definitely know the truth, but they will not want to say it. We have been asking people, when you are talking about, oh, the North, the North, this and that, and those who are always chanting the praises, oh, our people have been in power, but they are just using it against their people, because in the recent, and I've asked the, these questions over and over again, the emergence of a president from the North, how has he affected the people there, positively, because they talk about, because in all these regions, we have a two sets of people, the so-called elite, the so-called politicians, and the masses, and you check the percentage of the, the, the politicians. What is their percentage compared to the masses? And they will use that as an a, a avenue. Now somebody will come and say, oh, yes, let somebody from the southwest be the president, be the this and that. And at the end of the day, you as a person, you that you are always supporting them, what have you gained? What have you benefited? Let the northerners come out. We are, when we talk about the real, the real people in this country or the real people in any society are the masses. Forget the few numbers of those uh, politicians and the so-called leaders. The real people, the real people, because without the people, there's no society. Without the people, there's no, there's no country. And when you want to measure the, the wealth of a country, you look at the people, you look at the, the standard of, the, of living of the people. You want to measure your family, you need to want to measure a man, go and check his wife, go and check his children. That is when you will know that, yes, this man, you are doing well, according to Mr. Macaroni. Yes, you are doing well. Not that uh, you, are, you, are, you are all over the place. 
you are all over, over the place as a philanthropist. And yes, there's nothing to write to me about your children. Your children are living in penury. Then what kind of a family are you? What kind of wealth are you proclaiming? And the so called masses do not even recognize this. In as much oh, power or appointment is being given to some few individuals in their region. They, that, that is what they call governance. And that's why you see people speaking ignorantly. Oh, some people don't know how to play politics. Oh, our people know how to play politics. Oh, some people are being bittered. And I laugh and I look at them. What is your life all about if your life is centered around these politicians? Who do not have your interests at heart. Their, their children are all over the place enjoying their lives. And you are there under the sun, under the rain, chanting their praises. You should be, you should, you know, you should have a rethink. Let me just put it in that mind uh, way. You should have a rethink. What are we talking about? Oh my goodness. Well, from time in memoria, for some time now, I've been seeing and I've been hearing uh this is Babache Lawa always talking about a Tinubu, you know, he loves to hear from Tinubu or he loves the power should be given to Tinubu. He's been he's been he's been talking in favor of the man, you know, there's no doubt. Why whether why he's saying that I don't know. But one thing about the old thing is that and the truth that he said was that even with all the power, even that let them even check everything safe. Even with the power being you know, have been rotating among the northerners. It has not brought a good economy. It has not. It has not reduced insecurity. Then what is that the use? He has. He's been able to say to make a point there. Apart from even conversing for Tinubu, he's been able to make a point that with all the power being given to them, what do they do with it? Now the irony of the whole thing is now is that the the North is having the power. What are you doing with the power now? What difference have you made? What goodness have you brought to the to the table? That is the question they are even feeling. They are not even talking about what they are holding. You have the power. Use whatever you want to do. Make even if, if you want the power to be retained according to what uh, the the stylish way that the mom and Dara, the the one in the cab, the one of the cabas in Nassau Rock, saying, "Oh, it should not be about rotation. It should be about competence." Okay, now you have it. Now, what competence and what goodness have you brought to the people? Nothing, but they are still hoping to get it because of few individuals. It's not because of the masses. Somebody was talking about, oh, not the Igbos own the own, own Nigeria, not Fulanese. Who is deceiving who? Because when you want to measure the wealth of a, of a country, you check the people. You check the people. So, uh, this man has been able to make his point that if the, the party does not want problem, they should just allow the sleeping dog to lie. Let them just agree on a gentle men agreement and let them move forward. Not APC Nigerians have rights, except you want to tell me that those in APC are not from Nigeria to oppose him, cause it's not the right choice. Okay, if it's not the right choice, but some people, it's the right choice. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what Baba Chelawa has said.